Many of you found me after watching my castor oil videos. I did a couple of videos at the beginning of this year talking about how castor oil had changed my life. In fact, I would say castor oil was the breakthrough skincare product of my life. And I'm going to share exactly how you can use it for anti-aging. There are so many benefits for castor oil, but today's video is all about lines and wrinkles, skin tone and texture, and why castor oil needs to be in your skincare routine from today. If you're ready, let's get started. So which type of castor oil should you be choosing? Well, it's really important to remember that castor oil absorbs deeply into the skin. You don't want anything that has any chemicals or toxins in it. So I suggest you get one that is hexane free, organic, cold pressed, and comes in a glass amber bottle. Castor oil deteriorates after six months. So although I have a big bottle, I do use it within around about 12 weeks. If you are only going to start out with castor oil and just use it for your face, get yourself a smaller bottle. It will serve you well and it will last you a long time too. So what exactly does castor oil do for the skin? So as I've just mentioned, castor oil has the ability to penetrate and draw in super deeply. Now that is really important. So whatever you're using on your skin, you need to make sure that it's clean. Because castor oil can penetrate so deeply, it has the ability to alter your skin. It is super hydrating, preventing water loss from the epidermal layer. That means that it's going to hydrate, plump your skin and make it look more bouncy, glowy and pillowy, the way that it used to look when you were much, much younger. It also has the ability to heal damaged cells and skin, which is incredible. If you have sun damage or sunburn or any minor skin irritation, castor oil can really help with its ability to turn over new cells. Castor oil is packed with fatty acids, nutritious, helpful fatty acids that help and support your lipid layer. Now the lipid layer of the skin prevents moisture loss. It is that barrier that helps protect your skin from environmental stresses and the outside world, keeping your skin healthy and intact. Now massaging castor oil can help with collagen production, increasing blood flow, helping with the blood nutrients that are feeding your cells helping with collagen production, which of course in turn helps with skin tightness, texture and tone. Castor oil is incredible for around the mouth and around the eyes. These are the areas that we have the signs of lines and wrinkles often before anywhere else. And that's because of the muscle movement. If you use castor oil with glycerin on the lips then you are going to have world-class lip gloss and hydration, helping with chapped lips or sun-damaged dry lips. Castor oil is also known as a superpower when it comes to eyebrows and eyelash growth. It is incredible and you just simply massage it in. You don't need anything expensive. You can massage it in with your fingers or you can get a little brush and brush it onto your lashes. Be careful not to get it into your eyes don't recommend you putting castor oil into your eyes but around the eyes on the brows and the lashes you will see phenomenal lash growth and no it isn't going to increase hair growth on the face i get asked that all of the time the follicles on your brows and on your lashes are different to that around your face you're not going to grow a beard anytime soon so how do we incorporate castor oil into our skincare routine first step is to know that you only use it at night it's incredibly thick it's a thick viscosity almost like honey so if you use it in the day it's not going to work with makeup and it's going to make your skin look very oily and it's actually quite hard to remove i'll teach you how to remove it in a minute so always use it at night and always use it after your other skincare products. And that's really key because what we're going to do with the castor oil, we're going to use it almost like a seal. We're going to use castor oil like a capping mechanism. Some people call it slugging. And basically what that means is you're going to follow your normal skincare routine and then you're going to apply your castor oil on top. And the castor oil has the ability to trap in your skincare and help it absorb better, which of course helps with the effectiveness of your skincare so much more. So this is my current skincare routine. I love using a cleansing balm or a cleansing foam to have a super clean canvas. I'm then going to apply my serums. 
I always work with the premise that you start with the thinnest to the thickest. Castor oil is the thickest, so that's going to be last. The first thing I like to use is this. This is Alpha Arbutin. It helps with pigmentation. It helps with age spots. It helps with uneven skin tone. It's incredible. It contains hyaluronic acid and ferulic acid as well, all of which help with texture, tone, plumping and hydration, but more importantly, pigmentation. After that, I reach for this one. This is vitamin C, vitamin E and ferulic acid too. It is incredible. Helping with hydration, helping with cellular turnover. Vitamin C is an antioxidant, getting rid of pigmentation brightening the skin. I love this as my next step. The next thing I'm going to use is a moisturizer and the moisturizer I'm using at the moment is this one. This is marula oil. It's again, it's a natural product. It's lovely and clean and it's very lightweight. It's not too thick and greasy. We're going to apply the castor oil after this. So we don't want anything too heavy. This one is fantastic. Marula oil is sensational for aging skins, helps with lines and wrinkles, helps with the fatty layer of your skin, helps balance the skin and helps with hydration. It's nourishing, it's hydrating, it's got hyaluronic acid, vitamin F and vitamin E. It's a fantastic product. In fact, these products here that I've just mentioned come from a brand called Minimalist. They are clean, transparent ingredient brand. They are phenomenal. I absolutely love them. I'm not sponsored by them at all, but I talk about them constantly because they're affordable and they are fabulous. Now on to castor oil. So I will get my castor oil and I will just put one pump or one drop into my hand. I will rub my hands together. When the oil is a bit warmer, it's easier to use. And then I'm going to press it all over my face. Don't rub it, just press it on top of your skincare. Now for your eyebrows and your eyelashes, you can use your ring finger and massage that in. Or, as I said, you could get a clean mascara brush or a little brush if you wish. You don't need to though, you can use your fingers absolutely fine. Now the other little step that I love to do is massage with a gua sha. So I love to use this. This is a metal one. I pop it in the fridge. I love it when it's icy cold. And I will literally just massage down my face and my neck just ensuring that I'm giving myself a little bit of a massage with the castor oil. It helps the castor oil to absorb and it's also helping with my jawline. Now I'm getting a bit saggy here. We all do, it's a natural part of aging. So it's nice to be able to use something that feels nice and helps with the muscle tone. Now if you sweep it along your jaw and then come down your neck like so, that helps with lymphatic drainage too. So not only are you getting the benefits of the castor oil, you're also getting the benefits of reducing puffiness and helping define your jaw. For around your face, I've got this little tool. It's fabulous. It's just a little one and you can just massage that in. Now these aren't essential obviously, but I thought I would show you because I get asked all the time what I use. And that is it. Now, some people will recommend using coconut oil to break down the castor oil in terms of its thickness. I agree. Coconut oil, fractionated, organic, clean coconut oil is fine to mix with your castor oil. You would just do equal quantities. It's not difficult. It's not complicated. I personally don't bother. I just pop the castor oil in my hand, give it a warm up and press it into my skin after I've put my skincare products on. As an extra little luxurious step, I sometimes add frankincense. Now frankincense is a holy oil and it is incredible for rejuvenation, skin aging, lines and wrinkles, and it is just overall a beautiful oil. I love it, I adore it. It is a holy oil for a reason, but you don't have to have that step. It was just something that I thought I would mention because I adore frankincense and that is it girls. That's how I use castor oil as an anti-aging ingredient in my nighttime routine. Now I mentioned that the oil is super sticky and in the morning you will feel sticky. So what I suggest you do in order to remove it is to get yourself a really lovely clean face cloth, hot water, let it be really nice and steamy, wring it out and then simply put it over your face, pat the oil off and that should be enough to get rid of any residual oil without removing or undoing all the fabulous properties and good work that that miracle oil has done. Girls, that's it. That's how simple it is to incorporate castor oil 
into your nighttime routine and get the benefits of the anti-aging properties, helping with collagen production, helping with lines and wrinkles, and helping with moisture. So that's it, girls. This stuff works. It is affordable. It's something that you can incorporate easily. It works for everybody. If you have excessively oily skin or you have acne, just pull back a little bit. You don't want to overload your face with too much oil, but I promise you, castor oil is even used with people that have acne and cystic acne, and they have said that it helped. So I can't account to that. I haven't got cystic acne. I've never really suffered with acne. I do have dry skin and I do have lines and wrinkles. It's the nature of getting older. And if you can reach for something that's natural, something that's affordable, and you can incorporate it into your nightly routine, go for it. I'm all for it, girls. I'll link everything that I've talked about below. Everything that I mentioned is clean. It's fabulous ingredients, very affordable and all available from Amazon. I do hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, perhaps you'll give it a thumbs up and you'll share it with your girlfriends. And if you haven't done so already, remember to subscribe. I bring videos every single week to help you look good and feel fabulous. Until the next time, bye for now.